Hi everyone, it's Christine. It's been a while since I created a video. I started school, um, fashion design school, for my career change and it's been a lot of work so far. So I um, wasn't able to post any videos ever since I started. I've been pulling some all-nighters. So you can see from the pictures behind me that those are that's what I've been doing. I've been um, doing a lot of immersing myself in the fashion design world. The, these are um, images, just tear sheets from magazines that I cut out because they were things that I liked and inspired me. And we just need to do a lot of that kind of work, similar to a vision board, um, but for the designs that we would like to create, just to get a, a flavor of the things that we like and um, all that. So here's some insight into uh, my aesthetic. But um, I just wanted to give you an update. It's been... Um, a while since um, some of you have seen me and I wanted to reconnect with all of you. hope all of you are doing well. I've been really immersed in all of my classes and just trying to stay afloat with all of the work that's coming my way. One new goal that I have this season is to try to balance my life a little bit more. Um, in the past when I've been in school I went in full force and would always pull all-nighters. I mean, I, I always, always tend to overload myself with the amount of work that I have given a certain amount of time. It's just not realistic trying to do two, two degrees at once. I mean, it was just always crazy. This time, it is crazy, but and the program is just known for that. But I would like to figure out a way to make it more balanced so that I can actually get sleep. I was getting sick, and I had to put on the brakes take time out and sleep, take naps, take vitamin C, eat better in order to get healthy again. And so I'm glad that that's done and it would have been really bad if I had gotten sick because of the amount of work that I need to do. But just taking care of myself for that one day really made a huge difference. And from here on out, I'm trying to figure out a way where I can continue getting sleep um, making time for exercise and yoga. It's been quite a challenge. I've fallen off the wagon about for the past two weeks. I was doing pretty well until that point, but it just got so busy. Um, and just finding a way to eat healthy and maintain a healthy diet. There's just not as much time to, um, there's no lunch period, so you kind of have to eat within like a 10 minute span all the time, which makes it hard to sit down and have a meal. But and that's my goal is to figure out a way, a system that works for me so I can do with things outside of school. I'd like to see more of New York, visit museums, um, attend events, uh, continue learning, reading books and doing things outside of school. This time is a period for me to grow, um, not just on my one career front, but I'd like to get involved in other things that interest me and do some outside work um, related to my career but maybe just learning other skills other than what I'm just learning in my classes. But so far it's been great. I've learned a ton. I can't even believe how much I've learned. I feel like I'm already a fashion designer. Um, the skill sets, I mean, we're, we're moving pretty quickly and learned sketching, drawing, illustrating, I've done rendering. Um, learning like Photoshop, how to create prints, how to um, how to what else are we learning? Um, doing pattern making, draping, uh, just sewing skills, um, history, current events, marketing, I mean a, a lot of things so it's it's been fabulous. Um, I've also had the opportunity to attend some events out, outside of school, it's, which has been really great. I was able to volunteer for a fashion show um, during Fashion Week, not in Bryant Park, but in um, at, a, at a at art gallery. So it was just something I had intended. So I guess it's a manifestation. I had intended that I really wanted to have a volunteer opportunity during Fashion Week preferably this semester, so that I could see what it goes on behind the scenes to put on a fashion show, because in the future maybe I'll need to do do that for my own. Um, next semester I wanted to intern, so this semester 
I wanted to do that, but it was so busy. I didn't really want to spend like an entire week, maybe just one day. And that's exactly what happened. One of my teacher, one of um, the faculty members came into one of my classes and said there was an opportunity. I volunteered. Three of us had, um, had the opportunity to go out and help out. So that was really cool. And my husband found this um, opportunity to go to an actual fashion show. So I was able to go to the Philip Bloom Fashion Show, um, got an insider's, um, it, was, it was more for the public, um, for American Express card holders, and they did, they would talk about the inspiration behind the collection, and they went into some of the details and outfits and talked about them, so it was really interesting to see more than just what you would just see on a video we got to hear some of the insights and the inspiration that went behind it and saw some people in the industry too also what happened in new york uh was fashion's night fashion night out that was i think um it was like september 9th i think and that was pretty cool i went out um just wanted to, to experience some of the events going on. A lot of them were exclusive events, so it was really hard to get in. But I was able to um, go to a bar. And, like I, I walked by, by Dior, and I guess um, Charlize Theron was there. There was a huge crowd there. I went. I was able to get into Barney's, and there I saw Isabel Toledo. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with her, but her and her husband, Ruben Toledo, they were doing book signings there, so that was pretty cool. And then I went to see Oscar de la Renta, and I saw him, and I saw uh, Barbara Walters, and um, Bette Midler. Um, they were all in the store, so I felt like I was paparazzi. It was pretty fun. <laughs> Normally, I don't really like to just act like paparazzi, but it was really cool to see um, what went on in the industry. Being in New York, it's amazing that you can see all that. Um, other than that, I decided that I want to make all of my dreams come true this year. So what I'm doing is I've decided to get a pug. I've wanted one for about 10 years. Finally, I've decided it's time I'm just gonna do it I'm busy but I'm gonna make it work and since my schedule is flexible it's probably easier for me to find time to spend time with the dog take the dog out for a walk and fortunately we were able to find this great breeder it's a little bit difficult finding a breeder um, because there's so many people looking for dogs and pugs so there's often a long waiting list but I was in there they tend to be hours away but with my time constraints, I really wanted to find one close and wanted one that was a puppy. And I guess that was another manifestation that came true. I found Breeder in um, 30 minutes away. It was born two weeks be before we were able to go see it. So the puppy is two weeks, five days old since when I took the picture. And I'm going to try to put the picture on here so you guys can see it. It's so cute. It's really tiny. It's like six inches long it's it's small um, we're gonna pick him up after 12 weeks so probably the end of November and I'll show him to you then I'm so excited Whatever. okay um, that's it I hope you guys are doing well and I will try to post shorter videos but more frequently all right until next time bye